This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of another sale on Shopify. The moment a business dream becomes reality. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. They simplify selling online and in person and provide 24-7 support so you can focus on successfully growing your business. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash offer 22, all lowercase. This episode is brought to you by the Chevy Silverado. According to J.D. Power, Chevy trucks have won more new vehicle quality awards than any other brand. But champions don't stop. They keep moving forward. And that's what the Chevy Silverado is all about. To learn more, visit Chevy.com. For J.D. Power 2022 U.S. award information, visit JDPower.com slash award. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2038. Just Because, by Ross Enemite of RossTraining.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Sunday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. This is kind of like an audiobook, but with articles instead. and from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites. And then on Fridays, that's where I answer your questions. Remember, you can send in a question by going to oldpodcast.com slash ask, or email your question directly to health at oldpodcast.com. All right, and with that, let's hear today's article and continue optimizing your life. Just Because by Ross Enemite of rostraining.com. As I've mentioned recently, I believe that training should be fun. If you enjoy what you are doing, you'll bring more passion to the gym. If I truly dislike an exercise or routine, I won't do it. Why bother? My competitive days are over. There's no reason for me to do something that I dread. There's almost always an infinite list of options that are equally useful. Fun for me is often a moving target. I regularly shift gears towards new goals. Doing so helps keep the training fresh and challenging, as opposed to dull and monotonous. Considering that I'm only 32 years old, I'm hoping to have at least another 50 or more years of exercise in me. I can't imagine doing the same thing day after day for the next 50 years. Variety for me isn't just about avoidance of plateaus, but perhaps more importantly, avoidance of boredom. This isn't to say that I randomly knock my routine down and start from scratch, but I will make subtle adjustments and changes. I may target a new exercise or perhaps a new variation to an old exercise. I may also reintroduce a movement that I've used in the past. For example, I haven't flipped tires in a few months. There's been too much snow and ice on the ground. I'm itching to use the tires again, but I'll need to wait a little longer. Tire flipping isn't new to me, but taking a break from the exercise has rekindled my interest. The shift in gears is similar to the weather here in New England. No matter what season it is, there will always be people waiting for the next season to come. During the cold winter, you can't wait for the spring. During the spring, you can't wait to hit the beach in the summer. During the humidity of August, you can't wait for the fall. After raking leaves in the fall, you can't wait for the first snowstorm. We are always looking forward to a new season. I often feel the same way about training. One of my recent additions has been the parallel grip deadlift, using what is often referred to as a trap bar or hex bar. I unexpectedly received the bar as a Christmas gift. At the time, I had never used it. It was brand new to me. I initially used the bar for a few weeks, but then put it aside after leaving for training camp with a boxer who was preparing for a bout. I was away from home, so I didn't have access to the bar. But last year, I started getting the itch to use the bar again. It's been an on and off thing for me. I then mentioned using the bar on my forum and was bombarded with private messages asking why I use the bar. What was the reason? It's as if there had to be a functional, highly classified, special ops, Spartan warrior secret for me using the bar. Wrong. All I could muster for a response was, just because. I've been using the bar because I'm enjoying it. It's new and different for me. I can't say that using the bar has or hasn't made me better at anything. I don't know. I didn't wake up the day after using the bar with superpowers. I work hard no matter what I'm doing, so I rarely notice a major difference from a single movement. All that I know is that I'm better at lifting the bar than I was before I lifted it. Does that even make sense? Some people didn't like this response. They needed a reason. Why are you doing it? Why aren't you using a regular barbell? Meanwhile, all I can think is, why do you care? Is it really that big of a deal? 
My wife bought me the trap bar as a gift. I picked it up and liked how it felt. You may like red cars and I may like blue cars. I'm not gonna run you off the road because we have different preferences. You may like the feel of a barbell. Well, I personally like the feel of my trap bar. Who cares? In a few months or years, I may take an interest in traditional deadlifting. I honestly don't know. I'm sure the time will come when I get bored with the trap bar. It just happens to be something that I'm enjoying at the moment. I've never spent much time deadlifting, so I'm sure the deadlift bug will hit me again at some point. Perhaps next time, it will be with a traditional barbell. If it does, the reason will surely be just because. There is a primal feeling to picking up a heavy weight from the ground. I can now see why people really do enjoy it. It's fun. My son even enjoys watching it. He says, Daddy, pick it up. And that's all the motivation I need. As for the trap bar, one unique feature, at least the model I have, is that there are two handle options. I posted a video of me pulling 585 pounds. I flipped the handle over on the bar, which shortened the range of motion by a few inches. This really made a difference for me. Last week, I had failed on 585 pounds with the handles turned the other way. My bar holds six plates plus a collar. I can load five 45-pound plates and one 25-pound plate totaling 545 pounds. But the next step up is 585 pounds. I don't have any 35-pound plates, so I can't jump to 565. Last week, I pulled 545 pounds, but failed on 585 pounds. This week, I turned the handle around and 585 pounds went up nicely. I suppose this means that I need more work on the bottom of the lift. I'm hoping to pull 585 pounds soon with the full range of motion. I've watched some monsters on YouTube pulling 800 or more pounds with the trap bar. So that's motivation for me. I can definitely see how pulling heavy loads can become addictive. And if it isn't for you, I respect that too. We all have unique interests and that's something no one should attempt to change. Even good old Dr. Seuss could tell you that. Quote, today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you, end quote. And in the words of Swiss psychologist Carl Jung, one of my favorite quotes that I often reference, quote, the shoe that fits one person pinches another. There is no recipe for living that suits all cases, end quote. If only more people listen to Jung's advice. You just listened to the post titled, Just Because, by Ross Enemite of rostraining.com. This episode is brought to you by the Chevy Silverado. According to J.D. Power, Chevy trucks have won more new vehicle quality awards than any other brand. But champions don't stop. They keep moving forward. And that's what the Chevy Silverado is all about. To learn more, visit chevy.com. For J.D. Power 2022 U.S. award information, visit jdpower.com slash award. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I hate going to the gym. I hate running. I really don't like the row machine. As a trainer, these are things I would constantly hear from my clients. And here's the deal. When working with beginners or those that may have been sedentary for a while, I don't push them to perform exercises they don't like. At this stage, it's so important to just find ways to move more. And if a move is enjoyable, well, it's gonna make the behavior more likely to happen. And that's a win. That's because in turn, the person will build confidence. Many beginners often feel like they just aren't cut out for exercise, or they feel like they're just not coordinated enough to use a row machine properly or perform a burpee. By starting with enjoyable exercises, though, they'll be more likely to continue their exercise habit, and those mental barriers begin to fade. They start to believe. They start to believe in themselves. And once the exercise becomes more habitual, and then they're ready to advance, they're looking for something else, Well, now we can start incorporating some of the more challenging and maybe not so initially enjoyable exercises. And I said, initially not so enjoyable. Personally, I hated the row machine when I first learned it, but it was because it was hard. It was challenging. It worked my body in a way that I wasn't used to. I never liked deadlifts, but now I can't get enough of them. But I only did those things after exercise was a habit and I felt comfortable. I felt comfortable with myself and my body. I felt comfortable in the gym environment. But in the beginning, that's not necessary. In the beginning, it may be most important to start with something you can enjoy or at least tolerate and then advance from there. 
All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here every day. And don't forget, I'll be back in just a second with a bonus episode. So stay tuned for that where your optimal life awaits.